Welcome to my spring into summer outfit lookbook. Today's video is sponsored by Nordgreen. Welcome, I'm so glad that you are here. My name is Kay, this is Dress For My Day, and today I'm gonna to share with you seven outfits that are perfect for now, probably for most of us, depending on where you live. I think these are outfits that are, work really nicely for late spring into early summer. Once again, gonna depend on where you live, but I think you're gonna love these outfits. But before I share those seven outfits, I wanna just wish you a happy Mother's Day. You know, whether you are a mother, biologically or not, I know that you are a woman who has influenced someone, uh, probably many actually, in your life. And so I want to thank you for that and congratulate you for that and just wish you a wonderful Mother's Day. I, I realize that Mother's Day can be really hard for some of us. Maybe you wanted to be a mother and you were not. Maybe you feel a little left out. Maybe your own mother has passed either recently or in the past. Maybe you didn't have a great mother. You know, there are so many ways that being that Mother's Day can, um, you know, kind of strike a sour note sometimes. But we're going to reverse that because I'm going to encourage you to focus on the real meaning of Mother's Day. Uh, Nord Green has asked me to share with you a little bit about a woman in my life who has been inspirational. And they also actually told me a little bit about the origin of Mother's Day here in the United States. It was uh, begun by a woman who started having Mother's Days in her community when women, mothers, would gather and they would do service projects in their community there in West Virginia where she lived. And later, as that really kind of took off, her daughter, her grown daughter, then publicized that and really spread the word about Mother's Day. And in, in those initial years, um, they would sell flowers. That's kind of where, I guess, flowers became attached to Mother's Day. They would sell flowers, and the proceeds of those flowers would go to poor or single mothers in the community. So really, Mother's Day is not so much about getting a day in bed <laughs> or a spa day or breakfast in bed or whatever. It's really about service. And, you know, my mom, boy, she really has set the example for service for me. In fact, she set the bar really, really high, <laughs> and I've not come anywhere close to attaining that. She served her community for over 30 years as a public school teacher, first of all, and she was a humdinger of a school teacher. So many people would say that she was their favorite, but she has been retired probably almost as many years as she served, which was 33 years. And I tell you, she did not miss a beat after retiring. She has continued to serve her church, her community, she's worked the polls, you know, during elections, she has served in her church, she has served grieving families at funerals through providing meals, she serves in her very neighborhood as she sends a cake across the street when they're sick or, you know, whatever. She is, and my dad both, they are just such servants and such a blessing to those who know them and an inspiration to me. And you know, I think that's what we need to focus on this Mother's Day is giving back, is serving. I love the fact that Nordgreen also cares about serving and about giving back. When you purchase a watch, today I am wearing a native watch with a white dial with a white leather strap, and I love this. I, I've, been, I've been working with Nordgreen you know, for a couple of years at least now, maybe we're going on three years. And I love working with Nordgreen. They are an ethical brand. They are a B certified corporation, which means they have really high standards as far as taking care of the environment. In fact, this year, 2023, their goal is to reduce their use of plastics by 50% of what they used last year. But more specifically, they have a give back program where they provide water, uh, for a person in Central African Republic. They provide education for children in India. They also plant trees in the rainforest to sustain the rainforest in South America. So you can see the numbers here of what they've done uh, recently, what their most recent numbers are. And I just admire that. In fact, when you receive your package or if you were to gift a mother or a friend or a daughter uh, a watch, 
then she gets to determine which of those three NGOs, the proceeds, part of the proceeds from her purchase or your purchase would go to. And so that's how we as customers of Nordgreen get to help them give back to those around them. Nordgreen watches have very classic but modern aesthetic and I've loved every watch I've received. They all work beautifully. They have interchangeable bands too. So like, even though I bought the white leather band with this one, I can change it out with my gold mesh band you'll see me wearing. I can change it out with a black leather band. You know, whatever you purchase, you get to change those out. In fact, you can buy gift sets. So I always have a code with Nordgreen. It's K-A-Y-H-R-M-S. We'll always get you 15% off at Nordgreen and whatever specials they are running at this time of year, you get my discount on top of that. So that's really great savings for really nice substantial watches and they make a wonderful gift for this time of year. So I'll be wearing my Nordgreen watches throughout all of these outfits, so be sure to watch for those. Like I said, I'm wearing the Native today, it's one of my favorites. So let's get started on those outfits that are going to take us from spring and into summer. Now each of these I'm sharing outfit formulas that are going to work beautifully for you for whatever's in your closet or if you see something that you need to purchase, I will have links in the description box below for everything I'm showing and maybe even a substitute here or there if I can find one if something's not available. So be sure to check the description box below for my code for that link to Nordgreen, but also for links to everything I'm showing you in these seven outfits. This first one is a column of white. I'm simply wearing white jeans, a white tank top, and a great linen shirt. So this is kind of a dark, pretty vibrant blue though, linen shirt. Of course, I have on my white Nordgreen watch here, and I actually wore sneakers with this particular outfit. You could, of course, change in sandals, but I know some of you are probably still in situations where you're not ready to bare your toes quite yet. Maybe it's a little too cool for that. I think sneakers work really nicely. I'm carrying my straw market bag with this outfit. I don't think I'm showing handbags with all of them, but I did with this particular one. Just a really fun, easy outfit formula. You could, of course, work this formula with blue jeans, blue tank, and then a different colored shirt over it. You could also work it with just the white elements again, but with a, a gauze shirt or a cotton shirt too. My second outfit is some great linen pants. Now these are full length trousers. They have a little bit of a pleat at the top and they have belt loops. So I am wearing a black leather belt. Let's check in that here. And I've worn a black tee. So it's kind of a ribbed tee, a nice scoop neck there. Now I love it just the way it is. I've got on some black sandals with this outfit. It's a little bit of a heel because I didn't have these hemmed. I'm gonna to have to wear them with a little bit of a heel unless I do have them hemmed. And I love it just the way this is. This is a perfect, just a nice casual elevated outfit. But if you needed to wear a jacket, I think I probably would top it with my black blazer. And so that's an outfit formula I wanted to draw your attention to is wearing the same color top as your outer piece, your blazer, cardigan, jacket, whatever you wear there. Wearing the same color there, just doubling up on that neutral or that color is so smart, so sharp, and it's a no fail style formula. My next outfit is with blue jeans. I think this is the only blue jeans outfit I have. Uh, these are a cropped length blue jean, kind of an ankle length blue jean, a little bit of raw edge hem there. So just really casual, but I've worn once again a tank top. You could swap in a t-shirt if you prefer, if you want a sleeve or something, because I'd probably keep my jacket on with this. So I'm wearing kind of an oatmeal colored tank with an oatmeal colored linen blazer. Once again, repeating that color in my top into my jacket. So smart. Now I did add a splash of color that I think really pulls this outfit together with my scarf. So it's a beautiful silk scarf that kind of pulls the blue from my jeans up towards my face and really you know, like kind of uh, bookends the outfit really nicely. Now, you, I'm showing you here real quickly how I tie my scarf. I just tie it. <laughs> I don't do anything magic here. I have been paying attention to some uh, scarf tying tips on Instagram. So I, I might try some of those, but honestly, I like the no fuss, no muss of just looping it around and tying it around my neck. I think that looks so casual, really kind of that effortless, chic look. 
Now, if blazers are not your thing, because you may be thinking, oh my, she's just going to show blazers all the way through this. No, I'm showing you the same outfit formula here, but with a cardigan. So this is a really simple little linen cardigan, and it's not new. It's from last year, but I know you could find something similar. And I just want you to see even whatever you have in your closet. So maybe you have a pink tank top and a light pink cardigan. You could do the same thing here. And this time, because the cardigan does hit higher uh, at my waist and it's not long, I used a smaller scarf. I used the little necktie scarf size here. A uh, little silk scarf again. This one's not available anymore, but you know, just something similar from your own wardrobe. I love the way this pulls together. And I am still wearing kind of some neutral sandals there. So really just a really sharp but casual outfit. I guess I was enjoying wearing that cardigan so much, I decided to do it again, but this is gonna be a completely different look. This time I'm wearing that same oatmeal uh, tank, the oatmeal cardigan, but I've worn my white linen pants. Now these are some cropped length, wide leg linen pants. These are actually a mid-rise even. I'm not finding a lot of mid-rises these days. I prefer a high-rise waist, but I know some of my viewers are always looking for mid-rise. These are mid-rise. But what I want us to pay attention about this look is just the softness of it. So I'm wearing white with that beige, and I just love how this looks so fresh. I wore something really similar to this last year on Mother's Day. I actually wore a blazer and linen pants and all, but it was these same neutrals combinations. Now you could create something like this. If you prefer darker intensity, you could create a similar look with black and gray or navy and gray. So you can use other neutrals, but keeping that contrast and intensity uh, low is really going to give you something similar to this look. Now here is an outfit with a skirt, and this is what I would call this particular style formula a play on neutrals, because this time I'm wearing three neutrals. Usually I kind of talk about wearing two, either you know two colors or two neutrals and keeping it at that. But I think when you're working with neutrals, you actually can throw a third one in there. You kind of color block your look, and I think it works. So I'm wearing a black skirt here. This is a silk skirt, but you could use any black skirt in your closet to create this same style formula. And then I've topped it with a white tank top and a, another uh, ecru or beige bisque, you know, I don't know, oatmeal colored cardigan. I uh, could have used the same one as I used a while ago, but this is just a newer one that actually is available. And I actually finished the outfit off with my black sandals. Now you could wear nude sandals if that's your preference, but I actually kind of think this works with the long black skirt. This is a midi length black skirt. So I think adding those black kind of chunky looking sandals, I think it's actually very interesting looking, kind of creates a, an interesting vibe there and I like it. So you could create this once again with different neutrals from your closet. Maybe you could combine gray and navy and white. Maybe you could combine gray and oatmeal and white. So you know, there are so many ways you could do this depending on what's in your closet. Outfit number six is a column of black. I already gave you a column of white and I just know that some of my viewers don't prefer to wear white or maybe especially in pants or something. So I wanted you to see that you actually can create really the same outfit formula that that first one was, but with black. And it works even for spring and summer. So I'm wearing the linen shirt that I'm wearing here. It's kind of a lavender, it's so pretty. You know, lavender is not one of my colors that I keep in my wardrobe. I really limited my wardrobe for spring and summer to uh, soft pink, bright pink, uh, what we're calling, I think, a cornflower blue and Kelly green. But, you know, it's okay to break your own rules occasionally and throw in something fun. And so I did order this lavender, which is really trending in this linen shirt and I'm loving it. It is a little on the thin side, a little sheer. So I think it's gonna work most uh, best with some tank tops underneath. So this time I decided to wear a black tank and my black pants have a little bit of a, a pleat there in the front. These are just nice cotton pants, so easy to wear. And I've just simply topped it with this pretty 
lavender linen shirt. This time, instead of wearing black sandals, which I absolutely could have done, or nude sandals, I decided to go with my metallics. So it just really brightens the outfit up. I thought maybe since I was wearing all that black, maybe I needed some metallics to really kind of liven up this outfit since it is for spring and summer. And then my final look is just white pants, those same white pants actually as the black ones were, and with a Kelly green, that's one of my colors in my closet. It's a polo, a really soft, silky polo shirt, lots of stretch in it and I'm wearing a belt. Now, this time I decided instead of wearing nude sandals and, or metallics, which I kind of like, or wearing the same color of footwear as in my pants, I decided to swap in those. Remember I talked a couple of weeks ago about shoes and I suggested kind of that saddle leather color. I just think it is so pretty for spring and summer and it looks really fresh here with white and green. I love this. So I did wear a belt, the same color as my sandals. I think it really pulls it together, but I also want you to see that if you don't want to wear the belt, you don't wear belts, you don't want to draw attention there, you can still create this nice style formula of just white pants and a pop of color. So you could do this with other shirts too. Now, my thinking though is I do love just a classic t-shirt, so you certainly could wear just a crew neck or scoop neck or v-neck t-shirt, but I think what really makes this particular outfit formula work is wearing a shirt, a top with a little bit more to it, a little bit more design effort to it. So a polo top like this works, you know, a gauzy, a solid top would work here. Something even with some pretty eyelet or embroidery or something like that would work so nicely with your white pants. Now here too, just to show you how that leather pulls together, I did carry that market bag with the same kind of straps there. I think it's just so fun and fresh, really springy, really summery. So those are my seven outfits for you for today's lookbook. I hope you got a little inspiration there. Don't forget to check below for links to everything that I've shown. And especially check the, for the link to Nordgreen. Please check them out. I actually have a landing page there. So if you visit through the link below, you'll see me <laughs> and my favorite watches and the necklace that I've shown in several of my looks today, the little Megara necklace that they allowed me to help them create. So it's really my personal necklace that you'll see there. So be sure to shop through that link. Use my code K-A-Y-H-R-M-S for 15% off of whatever great deal Nordgreen has going on for you. And I think you will really love what you see there. Thanks so much for visiting with me today, ladies, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye now. Oh, oh, and have a happy Mother's Day.